looking at our learning module 3 we'll notice the second instruction tells us to use assigned names if you look in your textbook on page 377 or 387 and 388 you'll see some instructions and these instructions refer to cells that are next to each other and our worksheet that we're working on our cells are not next to each other so first we'll go through really quickly of how it, it would work if we use the the instructions in our book or if we had a simple sheet where we just need to simply reference or name assign cell names uh, right now you'll see if you look in the name box this cell that I have highlighted is currently named H14 and the one below it is named H15 and H16 H18 or H17 excuse me we don't want these names we want to be able to put in formulas if I want to calculate the tax I want to say equals price times the tax rate and have it come back and give me an answer well Excel doesn't know what price and tax rate are because those those aren't defined so we can define those by highlighting this highlighting our cells that we want to reference uh, make sure we're at the formulas bar and then since these are highlighted we've selected cells we can either hit control shift F3 or we can click create solution create from selection and it's asking where are the name values so where are the names that we're pulling in this case they're in the left column so hit OK and now what it's done is it's named all of these columns for us so you notice that that field that was blank before where I had price times tax rate well price and tax rate are now valid fields you see these up here when I go click on cell H14 instead of being called H14 now if you look in the name box this is called price and this is called tax rate and now that formula I wrote earlier is valid so if I want to uh, if I want to calculate the total instead of saying equals C14 or let's see what would it be H14 plus H 16 that formula will work and we'll, we'll get our value but I want to know looking at this total what I'm actually calculating so instead of that we can just click this cell since it's named price it's going to come back as price and we're going to replace this H16 with tax and so we hit enter and now our formula is price plus tax and our total is total well if we tried that up here the create from selection we would have a problem because you notice our particular worksheet requires us to have this blank space in between um, there's a couple different ways you can do this the easiest way for me is to uh, go to the name manager just create a new new uh, name so we'll say cost and we want this to reference this okay we'll say next one is salvage hit okay and salvage we need to tell it to reference cell c6 we'll do the same thing for life e and we need to change that from referencing cell c5 we need to change it to actually reference cell c7 okay so we have all these in here we'll do that this is what would happen if we tried the create selection since we have this extra blank row in here try to create from selection we're still selecting the left row what's going to happen is 
these have been updated here and you see now when I click on this in the name box it shows up as cost this one shows as salvage life when I click on cell C9 since we have this blank space in here C9 has not been renamed C9 is still C9 B9 is still B9 what we've done is we've selected a range so I've got these two cells selected the range when I release my mouse you'll see that this ends up being named total depreciation so if I wanted to show what was in the sum of or what was in these two boxes down here and I typed equals total depreciation it would give me that 75,000 but that's not really telling me anything I, that's not what I want so we're gonna click control Z to undo that so what we can do to rectify this situation so we can go back into our name manager and we can go here and just correct which cells this is referencing so total depreciation currently is referencing B9 through C9 we only want C9 okay then same thing with annual depreciation change it to only reference that one cell that we want and monthly depreciation same thing so now we have all of our formulas updated all of, well we don't have our formulas updated we have our names updated so the cells called cost salvage life total depreciation etc so that's good but we've we previously had formulas in this worksheet um, that were referencing cell names if you look up here it says C5 minus C6 well we're past that that stage we want to use names we want to be able to look at this formula and see exactly what it's calculating so we can just replace C5 click on the cell highlight that C6 is that and hit enter our number doesn't change the only thing that changes is when we look at the formula it the formula is updated so it's more meaningful so instead of C5 you can just update this C6 is here C7 is here if you look over here this is where this function comes in this is how we're calculating our annual depreciation so we hit enter again the number doesn't change it's just the formula so instead of C10 what was in C10 it's called annual depreciation so now we're taking annual depreciation divided by 12 that's how we're going to figure out our monthly depreciation and we're just rounding that to zero decimal places is what this round and zero mean uh, there's one or two other places where we need to go ahead and go through and check our formulas this says equals C5 well again like earlier we, we've updated C5 so all we need to do is replace this and say equals cost uh, over here if B15 is less than C7 well what is C7 C7 is life so I could I could go through and click I could click on this cell like I've done for all the previous ones or if I want to I can just go ahead and type LIFE hit enter and since that's a valid argument now it'll take it in there and it'll realize what life is so those are just some easy ways that I find to create the name references uh, there are a few different ways but that's the easiest way for me so I hope you found this useful and best of luck on assignment three